Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the matplotlib cursor widget. Right, so uh, here's the, the documentation from the uh, matplotlib.org. And here, if you're interested, you can, I'll post a link in the video description below. But here's basically the documentation for the cursor widget. And we all know that the documentation sometimes is not always very 100% clear. So that's why I'm, I decided to create this video to basically show you uh, the use of the cursor widget and how to create the widget uh, in Python. So here's the, the final product that we'll be creating. So here we have a, a figure window and here's inside I have a graph. And by, as you can see that uh, while I have my mouse inside the graph, you have a cursor that will follow me around. So this the so this the exercise that we'll be doing, all right? Let me close the window and all right. So let's go ahead and uh, import the the matplotlib.pyplot uh, module. And next, uh, let's uh, import the widget. And from the matplotlib.widget uh, module, and we'll import the cursor class. Should we do this? Uh, I'll also import a button a widget. Now let's create some dummy data, and I need to uh, create uh, hundred percent. Uh, let's do two sets of hundred hundred uh, values. And so, if I need to do that, I'm going to import the NumPy uh, random class. Right, and here I forgot the equal sign. Here I'm going to create my figure and my axis. As well as I'm going to uh, create a plot variable. And I'm going to basically um, pass the, the plot uh, output to my p variable. And I'll make the, uh, the data series a dot. So now if we just quickly uh, display the graph, oops. All right, so this is what we have so far. Just a very simple scatter chart. All right, and so let's continue. And I'm going to create my cursor widget. So here from the cursor class and I'm going to pass the, uh, the x value. And I'm also going to show you how to use uh, the properties. The first property is going to be the horizon property. And that property basically controls the visibility of the horizon line. And let me show you what that means. So let me set that to two. And for now, and the default value is two. And here I'll also set the uh, foot on property to two as well. And it's going to control the visibility of the vertical line. And here we have the color. I'm going to set the color to green. And as well as I can also adjust the, the line width and I'm going to set to 2.0. All right. And let, me, and let me just remove the extra space. Now, if I just run the script, Oops. oh, where's my graph? Oh, let me try again. All right, so now we have the, the cursor now. Here we have both the vertical line and the horizontal line. And so remember uh, from the, the property, we have the horizontal uh, property and the uh, vert on property. I don't think I pronounced the name correctly, but that's okay. And if I set the vert on property to false, and I graph the chart again, and here you can see that the vertical line now disappear. And that's what the, oops, I said I execute way too many times before. And that's what the, the vert on and the horizon on property value is doing. And if you want to connect the cursor to like a function or events, so for example here, 
right now, uh, the cursor is not doing anything on my graph. The cursor right now is purely just uh, indicating uh, the point on my graph. And if I want to display the X and Y coordinates when I click on my mouse, and here I'm going to connect the cursor to a button press event. And I should do this. Uh, this was a typo. And to do that, so here from the fig uh, variable, and we can uh, use the canvas.mpl underscore connect. And this is the uh, method that you can, you can provide the event type to fire a function. So here I want to connect the, uh, my figure to button press event. And I want to uh, connect this event to a function. Let's call this function on click. And I don't have the function here, so let's go ahead and create a function. And here I'm going to set my uh, parameters event. And here I'm going to pass the x and the y coordinate value to x y to x one and y one variables. And here we can take the event uh, object, and from the object we can grab the x data and the y data. And here, what I want to do is I'm going to just print the x and y coordinate value. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, give it a try. So let me execute the entire script. It should be just plus F5. All right, so here's the here's the, the update uh, graph. And now if I click on uh, this point right here, in the debug console window, the X and Y corner got print. And if I just pick a different point, and here is displaying my X and Y corner. All right, guys, so this is everything I'm going to cover in this video. Just a very simple tutorial video showing you how to use the curse widget. And if you have any questions, feel free to send me an email or leave a comment below. Thank you for watching and see you guys on the next video.